Hey guys, welcome back. We have reached question number 46 of our Striver CP math playlist and let's see what the problem is. And the problem name is lucky numbers. Okay. So numbers of all office in the new building of the tax city of IT city will have lucky numbers. Let's see what the lucky numbers are. Lucky number is a number that consists of digits 7 and 8 only. Achha. Koi bhi number jiske 7 or 8 digits hai only. Koi or digit nahi hai. That would be a lucky number. Find the maximum number of offices in the new building of tax office given that a door plate can hold a number not longer than n digits. Achha. So, we will tell you how offices will be in any place where n digits are and n digits will be in the lucky numbers. Let's just say you have n5. So, how many digits will be in the lucky number? 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, sum of all those. Yeah, got it. So, input and the yeah, and output. So, yeah, that's quite an easy problem and let me just record it and so just a second guys yeah so हमारे पास कुछ भी n दिया होगा n would be the length of what maximum length of lucky number right so मुझे one two three till n length तक बताने हैं right so मैं बात करता हूँ logic की जो कोई भी let's just say मुझे तीन digit का lucky number बताना है ठीक है तो for the three digits First, I have 7 or 8 seven sakta number, right? So, for the first place, I have two options. I can either choose 7 or I can choose 8. For the second one, I still have two options. I can choose either 7 or I can choose either 8. And for the third one, I can choose 7 or I can choose 8. Yeah, so the total number of choices would be 2 star 2 star 2. And that would be F. I can also give you an example for that. Uh, let's just say for this one. Okay, so for the first, I have choose 777. Seven, seven. And for the next one, I choose 1 8 that 8 can be in the middle also and start with 7 so yeah these are all the numbers and apart from these the number can be set when i have two eights and 8 7 8 yeah and one possibility can be 8 8 8 so these are 4 3 7 plus 1 8 1 8 makes sense 2 times 2 times 2 that would be 8 for any digit uh, for the two places for the one places i can have number like 7 or 8 for two places i can have number 77 88 78 right 87 makes sense 2 times 2 is 4 so 4 numbers yeah we got the logic so let's code it out and we have given a n and for that number i need to print its output so uh let me just make something okay so for the first digit it would be two and for the two digit number it would be two star two and for the three digit it would be two star two star two similarly that will go up to two star two star two star till n right so this is a gp and the sum of gp is a times r raised to the power n minus one divided by r minus one r is two here so and a is also two here so the sum of gp would be a star r where r is 2 raised to the power n minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 which is 1 yeah let's just utilize that formula a is 2 here and for the power i can use power function raised to the power 1 minus 1 that's it but there's an issue in here as power function i need to typecast it into ll right so yeah seems okay and now i just need to test my code for the two the input the output is six right let's just test it you can also use a loop to accomplish the same task right so yeah uh, am i missing something here yeah I'm missing a bracket here. Showing six. Perfect. And let's just download the code and let's try to submit it. So this is our problem number 46. wrong answer on test 9 why so let's see what i am missing here okay i just misplaced my bracket it should not be here 
I need to typecast only power function, right, guys? So, yeah, that's it. Two times star of this number, LL typecast of power function. Yeah, makes sense. Let me just resubmit it. I think this time it should pass. Showing accepted here. So, yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.